No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift the skirts from our land. General Barato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sends you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her! My king, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an NM scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> <laughs>
gods give me strength. been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. We were wrong. Our king sacked the temple at Nippur. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I'm not in. Help me with this. Follow me. There is a way out through this tomb. Tomb? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. Guardian? Scared of a rodent? I have seen it all now. All this death, for nothing. They died in vain, for a mad king.
we are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king raid the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. Here, help me with this. <clears throat> you first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You Arcadians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. Always hope. What was that? Over here. No escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run... Then we both die. Ready your sword! Won't you spare me over till another
teeter on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. Ready to descend into the unknown once more? A party is nothing without a host. I will play my part, as I'm sure you will play yours. Shall we begin? As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories, stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. Many minds burning bright with the same idea. Poetic, don't you think? Some choices will bring you closer together, while others push you apart. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I, was, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. 
I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> down down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. I see you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. This here would like to watch me get my sweat on. You wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. We'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hot shot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, 
We like to think of it as a term of endearment. Red, let's get you shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shadam like to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off of her head. <laughs> uh, wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up, there's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. 
We spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie, look. Good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please, let me finish. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind when I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse, a lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that, you and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit. Sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. You work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher.
You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need him. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. I think it is. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. Who do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? Zane, and a gate. Zane?
sehen. سليم 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 جاركون ابو زين طبعا رجعت ايوه رجعت هو زين مع مع هو زين مع ابنك طارق ايوه طارق هما مع بعض راحوا ياخدوا الاتوبيس بقالهم ساعه كلهم خير لا كله مش كويس لقيت الحاجات اللي سرقها وخباها طارق وزين يا رب مش ده كمان قلت له 100 مره زين قال لي انه بطل الحاجات دي وعدني ننتهي البوليس ايه لا مش عايزين الصيع دول معانا انا هتعامل معاه في معرفتي انت بس قولي لي هم فين انا انا مش عارفه اول ما يدخلوا من الباب تقولي لزين أبوك عارف أنت عملت إيه قولي له أبوك غضبان منك لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي أوه. كابتن بصري أهلا أنا مولاس لازم نتحرك على طول أنت بتقولي سعادتك العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن دايرتهم توصل عندنا ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم ابني محتاجني ده امر يا جندي مش طلب ده واجب عليك فهمت هرجع البيت قريب خلاص يا دار دي آخر مهمة Coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle having come? Why are you fucking in life? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and now I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn, Rachel. <laughs> hey, what the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour interval. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. 
Chill. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that, some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 نحن الخنازير بيتيروا هيهبط American, the Asakir, the American, go. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Ben out and hold fire. We're gonna sigh out to this shit. إحنا الأمريكان. إحنا الجيش الأمريكاني. is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Murrow in the pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. This rate's a bust. These people are not the enemy. They're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one? What does that mean, Lieutenant? Colonel, I don't think these men are hostile. I'm starting to think they're just shepherds. Are you sure? Couldn't it be a cover? You may be right. These are civilians. Lieutenant Kolchak made the right call. It's not going guns blazing. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the virgins. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. 
I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مخزن السلاح Any orders, ma'am? Stand by. I've got this. هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المخزن What the hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. Ada. Hatarafu Rayu. What the fuck? Into Kamhina. Enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. Silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. The Bundu Ayat Bira Awiya, Akhtar Melinta Mahtagul Al Ghanam, Fin Medhal Al Marzan. Stand down, Lieutenant. It's the only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. Keep a firm eye on this one. shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. That's heroin. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? 
I want this place turned inside out. بعدين بيتكلموا هقول لك كده هيقطعوا جامد الاقرام انا مش فاهم هم هناك ليه يمكن بيدوروا على مخبأ صدام وانت تفتكر صدام هناك لا بس يمكن الرعين دول عارفين مكان قصدك ايه رجالتنا هناك ولو انت بتتكلم بجد الوقت مناسب نفاجئهم انا بامرك تضرب يا مناسب ده انتحار احنا فقدنا المفاجاه ايوه بس يا كابتن انا اديتك امر يا مناسب اضرب بسرعه اضرب ده مش صح الله يا سليم الحرب النار بالنار مش زي كده مش دلوقتي لو حاربنا دلوقتي كلنا هنموت احنا في حرب الوطن رايحة في داهية تحت عينينا انت دخلت الجيش ليه لو انت خايف تمسك سلاح
احنا عامل ايه دلوقتي؟ دلوقتي نخلص الشغلانه اطلعوا اضربوهم جيم اقتلوا كل واحد في الكلام دول لما الكلام ضعفوا لازم نضرب جيم انتحار يا كابتن لا آه يا ملازم ده مجد الحرب بنموت عشانا انا عد يا ابني يا ابنك حرامي ومسطول ملوش اي فايده ألفظ اسم ابني على لسانك تاني. داك. ابعد عني خالص. Fuck your dogging like this. Closing in. We gotta get to Joe. Yeah, fuck you too. WP grenades would be real useful right now. Daddy said we had to leave them at home, right? What is your orders, Marine? That ain't an option we got anymore. Oh, bullshit. I'm gonna flank him. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Dying, Nick. Bullshit. Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. <coughs> well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. Fire. Say a prayer, Mark. Signs. This is drop kick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Drop kick. This is killjoy two. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. <sighs> this getting worse. Down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Better not miss. Rachel! 
Jason! Jason! I'm close, man! I'm coming! Fuck is this place? something. Where on God's green earth have we landed? We need to get back topside, regroup with the rest of the squad, and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant K, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. All good. Just wasn't expecting to suddenly fall into the fucking earth. I hear you. You ever seen anything like this? What the hell is this place? Bass. I flunked history at school. Some. I don't feel shit. You sure about that?
thing is heavier than it looks. Give me a hand. I'm gonna need some more muscle. He's giving Jim again. That's Merle. Jesus, I'm mm. trying. Will you stop squirming around? He's bad. He's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Nick, I need you here. Cut the wires. Oh, he's fucked. He's so fucked. You don't think I can hear you? You're gonna pull through, brother. So can I? There's no feet in my back. Grab it. We're gonna pump you up, okay? Hurry the hell up! We got this. You keep lookout. Fuck! Lookout for what? Jesus, who the hell loaded these packs? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Maurice? أنا الملازم سليم عثمان لكل الجنود أنتوا فين؟ حول أنت فين؟ تعال ماشي كابتن دار هذا تسمعني؟ عد الرسالة حول كابتن زفت إذا قادرك تسمعني أنا مش عارف في 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 كهف بحاول أخرج حول أه. 
Ugh. يمكن عندي مشاريع النهارده استحمى اسمع موسيقى احتفل عيد ميلاد ابني بس لا دق على باب انا لا لما كان جايين لما كان جايين بص احنا فين دلوقتي والله ما انا عارف انا فين I'm 
place is about to come down. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm good. Did you see Sergeant K? Kolchak? Last I saw, they were together. I tried. Something's interfering with the signal. Might could be another way out. I don't know. You know I've got your back, Rage. Stay close, you'll be fine. I'm pretty good at looking after myself, Eric. It would seem so. <clears throat> Carabiners, quick draws, rope, light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. Let's do it. Well, that's a steep drop to nowhere. We've got rope. Hey, look. There's an airflow. I say we climb. So when did you start smoking? Excuse me? A lighter. Uh, it's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base. Are you ready? Are you? This place doesn't look much like a weapons silo to me. If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. I guess we could classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality time. Let's remind you of old times, Rich. You mean the sense of feeling lost? It looks old. Old? It's ancient. But that's cuneiform. Sumerian, maybe? What is this place? You're quite the expert on history. Didn't realize. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think. seems stable. Yeah, it looks fine. Got a certain coal under pressure. What do you think this place is? Hard to say. These carvings look religious. I think we may be in a temple. It's Pazuzu. Pazuzu who? Pazuzu. Do you not watch horror movies? You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. 
Something to do with plagues, I think. Plagues and demons, huh? Great. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this at all. Great, that's all we need. What is it? Didn't you hear that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something down there. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. That's gunfire. Where's it coming from? <laughs> we should move. Can you make anything out? That's uh, it's deep. That looks safe to you? It's our only option. Get the rope. We're going down. Unbelievable. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. Sorry, Eric. For real. You put everything into this research. More than you'll ever know. You can't blame yourself. I've messed up. Should have triple checked the data. Exhausted every possibility. But I'm so sure this was it. I understand what it meant to you, Eric. I'm so sorry. You've both made mistakes. The hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? <laughs> It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. Wherever you are, Nick, I hope you're safe. Sorry? Did you say something? No, nothing. You've got to see this. You regretting not calling for additional air support yet? Oh, there you go, reading Fuck. my mind again. That's a hell of a lot of fireworks. All call signs, this is King. Does anyone copy? Over. See how quickly this door has been blocked off? There's something desperate about it. I wonder who they're trying to keep out. Why would they do that? Look at this place. It doesn't add up.
I'll take that, thank you. This is king to all call signs. Are you receiving? Over. Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. About time we had a little luck. <sighs> How's the lake holding up? Leg? Oh, you mean the prosthesis. I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I didn't make it easy on you, Rage. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Mom, let's get to work. Shine a light on the tank. Ah, shit. What's wrong? Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gotta be something here to fix it. You got it? I've got it. Why don't you head back at the base? You were wrong. It doesn't sound like me. You said nothing had changed between us. But I've changed. All that time spent away from each other. I couldn't stop thinking of you. Don't you feel the same way? Even a little? I meant what I said. It was over between us the minute that truck hit my car. Nothing has changed. It's not how it feels from my side. It's definitely how it feels from mine. Hold the fuel pipe. Hey, give me a hand with this panel. <sighs> Look at the state of these. They're shot. Feels like so long since we worked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Why do we leave things like this? I tried. But you made it so hard for me to stay. We should have stuck together. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. Past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else. Your work is bigger than the both of us. Like, I don't think either of us could have foreseen the impact it would have. Rach. Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rach. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then, I don't know, things seemed confused, but now, it just seems simpler. Maybe there's hope for us after all. That should do the trick. Let's fire her up.
We have power. There was a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. something this vast have remained hidden for so long. What happened to these guys? September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for our honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye. A Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site, a gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work, a map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Zagros Mountains. This place is starting to make me feel a little uneasy. The rest of the squad are down. They're tough. Each Eric, take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? The tape is all tangled up. It's fine, I can fix that. So when did you stop wearing your wedding ring? When did you stop wearing yours? I didn't. Always close to my heart. You're always a good guy. You'd be too good for me. I haven't forgotten what this ring means to me. I want you back, Rachel.
We need to look at her. Someone else now. I knew it. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. not supposed to play out like this. Any call signs? This is King. Contact, contact. Taking fire. Did anyone call me? Over. That's Rachel. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. Say again. Over. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. How copy? Over. Simple this goddamn place. You're not serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming.
nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. Bonds that were once thought unbreakable have now been cut free. The heart is always the first to fall. What of Jason and Nick, brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Let's not forget that they've already lost Corporal Merwin to the dark, and the night is still young. Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed, an almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out, unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. A prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard, and out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. It was an accident. Just like the woman at the checkpoint. Don't make shit weirder than it already is. Clear your fucking mind. Colonel, is that you? What happened to Rachel? by the enemy. He opened fire on us. And Rich. She fell. I, I held on. I held on as, as, as hard as I could, I swear. She was taking me down with her. I had to. I had to cut the rope. Rachel! We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. We need to fall back now. Over there. Let's go. Oh. Look at that. Be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. How copy? Over. Joey, report in. Over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh, no, not Joy. The 
hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. Well, start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Monsters? Come on, you're jumping in shadow. Sir, with all due respect... Lieutenant! We're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick, take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Understood, sir. You got us into this mess. You better get us out. You want to repeat that? That's what I thought. Stay and guard the entrance. Go check it out. This is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. But Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. There's the generator. Let's go take a look. Need a hand here? I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Ah! Shit! Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Kick. This is Mailman 21 Actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. You be careful in there. Drop kick out. Cable split. Let's see what they lead to. This way. Step. There's a trip wire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. Gotta be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. <laughs> he's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire.
He could be waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. It's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. Gonna rescue him. Let me remind you that I make the decisions. I'll lead the way. No, I'll take the lead. Not without me, you don't. لازم اقول له لا يتخانق لوحده مش هتخانق معاك لازم يكون في طريقه تانيه من هنا لازم يكون في طريقه تانيه An American.
خور میده لازم يكون للشمس بس في حاجة ضايعة منا Check your corners. You still here, Joey? This is Mailman 21 Actual. Joey, do you hear me? How copy? Over. He's in bad shape. You were with really fast. Fast. Gomez, right? What actually happened to him? He died. Whatever's out there now, sure shit ain't Joey. Well, in battle, these things are often difficult to judge. What's that supposed to mean? You could have been mistaken, Sergeant. If you say so, Colonel. We just have to hope he's still alive. We've lost enough today. I'm sorry, sir, about Rachel. Is that so? Kolchak told me you people called her the queen bitch. Not by me. I knew her better than that. Check your weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. Deep is that damn mole. Saw fishers like this back at the temple. Best guess is the quakes open them up. Let's just keep going. Corporal Gomez, this is Dropkick. Durimi, over. This fucking place. We know what we're facing now. Eyes wide. Stay frosty. Should never come here. Stay focused. Don't let this place fuck with you. Check your sight lines. Hurry up! I don't need to tell you. Is that blood? Something really fucking nasty went down here. He's close. This is so fucked up. Be quiet. We're walking into a trap. for an ambush. Let's keep it slow and tight. No, double time. Joey needs us now. We gotta hurry. Ah! <laughs> Joe, that you? He's right. 
Advance with caution. Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. Mailman 3 to dropkick. Colonel, are you there? Over. Oh, no.
seen ugly in my life. But never that ugly. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? I don't know what they are. I, I shouldn't be here. I should be home with my son. I hear you. Family's everything. I should have never come here. It's his birthday today. Oh, man. You really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to make sure you get home today. The only thing keeping me going. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K, Sergeant. Selimos, man. Lieutenant. Elohi Army. Shukran, Yahuya. Mailman 2 and actual to Mailman 3. How copy over? Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Listen, you gotta trust me. They won't hurt you. Drop your weapon now! Stop pointing your guns at me! All right, everyone, take a fucking second. He's not hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Don't make a mistake, you're gonna regret, soldier. Put your gun down, now! No, you lower yours first. Drop your weapon or we will fire. Are you hearing me? Drop your weapon now! I didn't come this far to die by a trigger. Happy American! He's gone. We've lost him. We can't leave him here. We gotta get back to the temple. I know. That's the last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. We should reset that trip wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Oh, 
Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. This is something else. You ever think? I don't know how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Well, I don't remember them showing much respect for New York City a couple of years back. So now all brown people gotta suffer, that it? That's not what I meant. You know me better than that. Yeah, I thought I did. All I'm saying is that this country has its fair share of monsters, right? Does it now? When we're back home, we'll laugh about it. Yeah, maybe you can tell me how you feel about us black folks. We still have the east flank to cover. Eyes open. Let's go. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. They could come again. Closest I've been to hell. <laughs> Fuck she do to deserve that. Killed by a stake through the heart. Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Maybe you should hold on to that. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit.
More crap. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some chargers? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell a difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. It's on. Found a camera here. Let's head back. You've outdone yourself this time, puppy dog. Nick? Jason? Can't be anything good.
hell is that light? Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. No, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> What the fuck, Joey? Oh, Shit, Joey, it's me! We have to hurry. It's not safe here. that you could fight yeah me either what was that thing 
I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not alone. Where have you been? One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. You should be thankful I was there to help you. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still? I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, I uh, guess I'm a little glad too. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were gonna say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> Something funny you wanna share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked, we don't stand a chance. You keep that to yourself. I'm gonna get through this, and if you want to, you better try and keep up. You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. <sighs> Give me the silent treatment, huh? I think right now we should just focus on survival. It's no wonder they call you the queen bitch. Sad thing is you don't even see it. See what exactly? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you. No, not, not even a wall, a mountain. Tell me, Rachel. Is there even a real person behind there? It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. <laughs> Easy Street? I had to graft to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah? And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. <laughs> you and I, we're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. 
No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! It's okay. I'm here. Promise that you'll stay with me. I won't leave you. I promise. But you have to tell me. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. <clears throat> side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <coughs> Don't quit on me now. <coughs> we have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Where I see it, it's your only hope. We can do this. You okay? <coughs> that answer your question? We need to get you to the temple. Not seeing anything come up, but I can hear them. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive.
They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here was pretty special. All clear for now. If they hit us, my best hunch is it'll be from the chasm. If? You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size and their home turf. Sucks to be us. I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. We'll fix it up, call in the cavalry, even shit up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. Damn it. If Eric had allowed close air support, those birds could have picked up the signal. Trust our prize to fuck you in the ass. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. Things will kill you, Sergeant. Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. Fuck that, I need my lighter. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghosts, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. No shit. Embrace the suck. Fuck this 
機かい何もなっそこないスパートホンチウケインリーナエクロスThey'll stay back. Shit's about to get real in here. Wait! Rachel! You're alive? Have any doubt, Marine? How those things take you. Where's Eric? He's gone. He's dead. You can get past this, Rachel. He deserved better than me. What happened to him? Rachel, um... Tell me. He was shot by one of the Iraqis. Is Iraqi still alive? He is. And he's close. Ah! What is happening to her? She's infected. She, she, she's turning into one of those things. Why'd you bring her here? She needs our help. She's beyond help. She help. shouldn't be here. Agreed. We got Wait! One of us. Step aside, Rachel. There's got to be something we can do to help her. It's not too late. We can save her. You're both fucking nuts. Look at her. Don't let emotion cloud your judgment. Think about it, Nick. Show some mercy, please. I am showing mercy. <laughs> This is on you. Get her to the supply tent. Now! Warm. Some advice. Save a bullet for your friend. Alright! Go back to the main temple! Generator! 
Flying without it! I need help! I can't let any of those things through! They're inside already! Can't let any more in! I don't care what their inbox says! Hold the gate! I'll get the generator running! Shit! Shit. What is that now? That's all we need. Is this place mined? Not mined enough. I ain't out of this fight yet. No, you're not. Come on, let's go. Ideas now's the time. Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait, yes! Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Down? In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone move to the east gate! wasn't one of your better ideas, Reach.
Can you hear them? Blast must have cut us off. We should keep moving. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. انت مش في مكان تحدثي make a move i fucking dare you i feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship باش اهبل shut up was it him don't do this Rachel. did he kill eric Bad move. I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. At least this time it won't be in the back. I'm gonna be all the way. Nick, deal with this shit. I don't know what to tell you. We could really use their help. They're the enemy, Nicky. Don't trust any one of you. That's all I need to hear. It's them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! to the colonel. I had no choice. Malhadi. Hyena, may I take a Mossara? Come on, Clarice. What's wrong with her? She's ours. So step back. <laughs> That's where this conversation ends. You're letting a fox in the hen house. She will turn, and you know it. We can't give up hope. She's coming with us. For God's sake, she's one of us. Until she's not. واثق فيهم بس المجنون يثق في واحد مجنون
Где? Teach you to mess with a Marine. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. You alone? Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. Looking for trouble, says the American with the gun.
Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. The sword and the shield. Been too wordy for my liking. But I'm in. For one second, you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. The following second, you're dead. I kill vampires. You think? That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that. First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. Nine PM. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. You seem like you got your head screwed on, so I gotta ask. What the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice.
Your friend Nick? I like him. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <sighs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. <sighs> I say we get the fuck out of here. Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your back, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. Your wife? It's 
Funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? You didn't make it. Works for me. I'm this bad guy to deal with. A time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. Place a jack in the box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fire them. You crazy? Those vampires come from anywhere down there. You really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? One returns to the light, while the other goes out for Eric. Poor Eric. Bad luck. But then again, Eric cheated death once before back on that highway perhaps death finally caught up with him let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen sergeant k those taken by the abyss could seldom live to tell the tale as for jason and salim Sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it.
is me. This is my way of dealing with it, and I'm done trying to explain it to you. Yes, yes, this is my life now, and I'll live it on my terms. Wait, what, what did you just say? Uh, bad time? Yeah, it's a real fucking bad time. I'm just dropping off the files you requested. Not now. I said not now. Well, I, I didn't mean to upset you. It's not you. Uh, seems like out here we're, we're all running away from something. I know I am. You were caught up in that mess at the checkpoint. You shot that woman. No, it's okay. You could talk to me. It's just... Everyone seems to have an opinion on it. I'm dealing with it... in my own way. Are you? You got your own problems. And whoever that was, that sounded like a, a gold medal asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, you'll deal with it. Or say the word, and I'll handle it for you. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you.
walk there. That was too close back there. We're still breathing. We've not all been so lucky. All that matters is you're okay. Do we need to talk? About what? About us. I need to know what's happening with us. If I die tonight, I want to die knowing where I stand with you. We have a future together. Eric was a good man. He's gone. Rachel. Do you love me? My Marine has a heart. I like that. <laughs> Answer me. I do. I do love you. I can't lose you. Not now. Not ever. It's Jason. He's alive. We should go. Let's go find Jason. some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them, or...? Don't need to be a smart ass. Just move. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood.
said. What the fuck is this place? We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. Tough fucking gig. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. <laughs> this morning, I found the goods Zane had stolen. I left a message with my neighbor to tell Zane how angry I was with him. Is that the last thing he will hear from his father? I miss him so much. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I, we were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. for her to stop loud and clear but she didn't she just kept on walking i uh i had to make a call nick he shot her dead what was in the bag groceries I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. Huh. This. This bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. The truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? When those towers were hit, I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her, and we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. 
Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. Would you have mine? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Hoorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey, whatever happens out there, I've got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. things come from. I think so. Question is, where the hell are they? This moth is everywhere. Is it just me or is it alive? Look at them. 
Check out that armor. This guy's goddamn biblical. Shit! Did you see that? I think he's still alive. Oh, that's impossible. In this place? Everything's possible. Holy shit. Fucker's been alive all this time. Just sitting here with half a head. Fluid. It must have preserved his flesh. His brain. What should we do? We can't leave him like this. Well, shit. She had enough time to get used to it. I'm serious. Oh. The noise will attract the vampires. I'll do it. Looks like someone's been aboard in the dentist. No fangs. Can you see? The bone is ruptured where there should be, as though smashed from the inside out. What are you saying? Maybe these things weren't originally vampires.
I'll cover you! Go! Shit, Nicky. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. <laughs> Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. <sighs> Glad you're here, man. This place. What is this place? those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um, eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. And one block of composition C4. All in is not enough. We also got this. Uh, it's all unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still pack a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. Looks like our explorer friends were here too. We should search this place before we move out. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on a... None of them made it out alive. Over here. I found something. Okay. 
there's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. that these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? Madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, look at me. She has it. It's inside her. came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Do something! She's turning into one of them! I'll put her out of her misery. Hold her the fuck down. There's gotta be a way we can't lose her! There's no other way. Hold her down. Remember what happened to your friend Clarice? It won't be pleasant if Rachel turns too. Put you down. What are you 
waiting for. Had to be done. Stand up, Sergeant K. Those things aren't dumb. You'll have heard the gunshot. We need to move the fuck out. Seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Rachel's gone. So's the Colonel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plan charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. Selim, you ready? I am. Okay, then. Let's get loose, kids. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Six detonator. If I don't make it, Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? ahead of you. You gotta move fast. First item at his down. Over. Which way? Left or right?
kind of hair down there, brother. Why don't you ditch the rest of those charges and head back? Look at that, man. It's the mud load. It's too far. I'm going for it. Too easy. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. How's it looking up there? <sighs> Tell him. They're all over you, man. Hundreds of them. At least you've got the boss to tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this? For what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason.
Rest in peace, Nicky.
we're alive. We're fucking alive. This is Bailman 21 Actual to Coyote 2. Radio check, over. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. We fucking did it! Look. Look around you. It's so quiet. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. Not again.
I need to see my boy. Shalim, wait! Mail meant you were an actual. We have eyes on and a clear for even. Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the darkness. Survival often comes at a great cost. A cost that others sometimes must pay. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. First Lieutenant Kolchek was a revelation, was he not? He finally made peace with the demons he'd been carrying with him and forged the unlikeliest of friendships. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured. Wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. And you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram you in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before.
Cool Jack Jason, First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular. Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You ain't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. And Sergeant K? Nikki didn't make it. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. I'm dying to meet this guy. Nothing to show. He walked. The hell's that mean? By the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Could be across the border by now. Sneaky son of a bitch. Now I see why Kolchak enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. Ah, shame. This testimony could have been valuable. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Those two were married, right? In the loosest sense of the word. The report states that the colonel was shot. It's still a war zone. At least somebody here died normal. This comes down to Kalis. It mistook the temple for Saddam's weapon depot. <laughs> Piece of shit system. I wouldn't say that. It's been a big find for us. We've been lucky. This is your definition of lucky? She was infected. Her comrades had no choice but to... A parasite? Extracted. You read her profile. Yeah. She could have gone far. If this hadn't happened. Are you still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. Well, small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you?